Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since my last video, but I thought I'd share a quick, cheap and simple furniture upcycle with you today. I'm going to be showing you how I take these old and dated tables and give them a classic and timeless French country look in just a few simple steps. So if you want to see how I achieve this new look for these tables, then keep on watching. I recently picked up this nest of tables from Facebook Marketplace. I didn't give a lot for them, I think around £20 or so, but they are solid wood, they're very well made, however they do look tired and they are in need of some TLC, so that's what we're going to give them today. Overall the tables are in great condition, with no gouges or damage to the wood. They also have some great detail and carvings on them, which I want to try and bring out and enhance today. I don't want to spend a ton of time or money on them, so I'm going to be using some inexpensive own brand chalk style paints. Paints can vary hugely in price, but I want to show today how you can spend very little and still get good results. I'll explain what products I'm using as I go along in this video. To start, I'm lightly sanding my piece. This is to smoothen out and provide a key to all surfaces which will come into contact with my paint. Chalk style paints often get labelled as little to no prep products. Buy always sand and prep properly prior to painting as this will massively improve the longevity and integrity of the paint job. I'm not sanding excessively here either. I don't want to disturb any of the carvings or details on the wood. Just a light sand with a 120 grit sandpaper is more than enough. Next, it's time to give the tables a really good clean. I'm using a product called Elbow Grease, which is a degreasing agent to help give me a nice clean surface to paint on. And this will help remove any sanding dust or build up of any dirt and oil. Now it's time to paint. I'm starting with an Aldi own brand chalk paint in the colour charcoal. This is one of the cheapest chalk paints on the market at the moment and only costs around £5 for a 750ml tin. Here I'm using a small natural bristle brush and I'm lightly brushing my charcoal paint into all of the carvings and deeper details throughout the table. This acts as a base and helps create depth and shadow in all of the deeper details in the wood. The charcoal chalk paint will also help in blocking out the red toned wood underneath as this isn't something we want to see in the finished look. This charcoal paint does dry to a fairly light grey, however when we seal the paint at the end, this will darken the charcoal back down to a true darker grey colour. Next, I'll be using a Wilco own brand chalk paint in the colour Putty. In my honest opinion, this isn't really putty. It's more of an off-white sort of colour. However, it is a nice light neutral colour which will create a contrast to the charcoal that's underneath. This paint isn't as cheap as the Aldi one. However, compared to most chalk paints out there, it is much cheaper. To paint these tables, I'll be adopting a dry brushing method. Here, I'm taking my natural bristle brush dipping it into the putty paint and offloading it onto the lid of the paint. This is to ensure I don't have too much paint on my paintbrush. 
Once I have offloaded the brush, I begin dusting my brush across the surface, being careful not to push the paint into the details. I'm simply sweeping across the high spots to create depth and dimension. So here is the patchy and uneven stage. However, as I allow the paint to dry and brush on more coats, my coverage will improve. With this method of dry brushing, I'd rather do lots of light coats rather than fewer heavier coats and run the risk of applying too much paint. I don't want a block of colour here. I want an aged and worn looking finish. A similar look can in fact be achieved by skipping the first step and instead painting a solid putty colour all over and going over with a dark glaze afterwards. However, this in my opinion is a much cheaper option and a quicker way of achieving this look. And here's a quick close-up on the details after the first coat. And here I'm starting to paint the top of the table. I don't want as much dry brushing as the bottom. I want more of a solid putty colour here, with just some light dry brushing around the edges of the table. I know things are looking pretty patchy here, however, as I let the paint dry and go on with more coats, the coverage will improve and I will achieve more of a solid colour. As you can see here, my coverage is getting better and better as I apply more paint. I'm still, however, brushing very lightly over areas with detail, as I want to be able to see the dark charcoal colour in the lines and the grooves. I'm now finishing off this table with the third and last coat. Once this coat has finished drying, I will then repeat the process with the other two tables. Again, following the same steps for the other two tables, sanding, cleaning, painting my charcoal coat on first, followed by the dry brushing afterwards.
I chose to wet distress the tables. I took a microfiber cloth with some warm water and wiped down the tables focusing on areas where over time something would naturally pick up wear and tear. I've chosen to seal my tables with Johnson's finishing wax. It's one of the cheaper waxes out there at under a tenner. However, it goes on really smooth and easy and protects your chalk paint really well. To wax the base of each table, I'm just gonna use a large round waxing brush. Once I finished this, I then took a disposable lint-free cloth to wipe back the excess wax. Here I'm now waxing the tops of the tables. I took another lint-free cloth, wiped the wax on and wiped it off again whilst buffing to a medium shine. I'm now making sure the wax on all three tables is wiped back and buffed to a nice shine all over. Once this wax has been left to cure for a couple of weeks, the tables can then be used and the paint will be nice and well protected. And that's all there is to it really. These tables looked a bit sad and dated before, but I am quite happy with how they turned out. I think that the worn French country look suits them quite well and gives them much more character. This DIY was really cheap to do. You don't always have to buy the most expensive paints and products out there to achieve a nice simple look. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I know it has been a long time since my last one, but I'll hopefully be back again soon with another DIY for you. So make sure you don't miss it by hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you all again very soon.